This is going to be a short little video on how to do some basic simple programming. Here we have uh, a picture of an arrow and it happens to be 7 inches in the x-axis and 3 inches in the y-axis. And we're going to start at this point and we're going to machine all the way around. And I've already got the program written so I'm going to minimize this. Open this program up. You can tell I've marked it with the alphabets. So we're going to start at home position and we're going to go to A, then B, C, all the way back around until we get back to A again. Alright, we're going to start off with the absolute programming, which is a G90. The next thing we give it, the information is going to be inch measurements, which is a G70. Uh, we're going to give it a tool number 5, which is uh, M06 T5 tool change. The next line of code is going to turn the spindle on with the M03 and we're spinning at 2000 revolutions per minute. Now we're going to position ourselves for position A. Now it's probably better to take a look at this. It's a larger version. So if we count our squares, these are quarter inch squares. So it's going to be two squares to get to this point. So that's in the x-axis. So that would be quarter, a half in the x, and if we count up in the y-axis, quarter, half, three-quarter, one, quarter, half, that's going to be an inch and a half in the y. So that's going to tell us it's going to be x, um, 0.5, and y, 1.5. Get back to where I was at here. There. Okay, so position for A, x, 0.5. Y 1.5. Now the next thing we need to do is pull a tool down. So we have a G01 which is a straight line feed. Z which is a negative going into the workpiece. Let me zoom in just a tad here. Okay. G01 is a straight line feed. Z is the axis we're traveling in. We're going in a negative direction and it's going to be decimal point zero two five or twenty five thousandths of an inch and F is our feed rate and that's twenty inches per minute. Okay, the next line of code get out of that is going to take us to position B. We already down inside the workpiece spinning two thousand RPMs and in order to get to B we just count up our grids. So quarter, half, three quarter, one. Notice we have marked here. That way you don't have to count all the time. So we're going to, we know we're between one and two. Three lines past the one is going to be three quarters. One, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters in our X axis. And in our Y axis from here up to here, quarter, half, three quarter. So that's going to be inch and three quarter in our X and three quarter in our Y. And that's where we have it for B, right here, showing X 1.75, Y 0.75. Notice right here we already have a G01, tell us we're going to do on a straight line feed. All of these are going to be straight lines. We're not dealing with any arcs or circles. The next axis we're traveling in only is going to be our Y axis going from B to C. So since we're going from B to C, I do not need to give it an x-axis command. So to get to C, we count up our squares. That would be quarter, half, three quarter, one and a quarter, or 1.25. Now, we want to get from C to D. However, we have measured everything from home position, so from this line going this direction is our x-axis. So from here all the way over to here to 4D at this point, it's going to be 4 and a quarter or 4.25. That's going to be x-axis only, 4.25. That was for D. position for D right here, X 4.25. Now, we have a diagonal move, so we have to give it both axes. 
So in order to get to E, if I pull this up, E is going to be at this point. Yep, there. So if we count our grids, E from here all the way to here is 4, 25, 50, 4 and a half in our X and 25, 50, 75 in our Y. So that's where E stands, X 4.5, Y 0.75. That's a diagonal move, moving both axes at the same time or simultaneously. Now to get from E to F, traveling in our X axis only, and if we count from home position all the way to where the dot is at the F, we're one square beyond six. The squares are a quarter of an inch, so that's going to be 6.25 and that is position for F. The next uh, alphabet we're looking for is going to be G. G is a diagonal move as well as H. So in order to get to G I'm going to have to move X and Y at the same time. And here's where G is located. So that's going to be 5 quarter half 3 quarter next. 5 and 3 quarter. And if we count in our y-axis, quarter, half, three-quarter, one, quarter, half is an inch and a half in our y-axis. So G, position for G, X 5.75, Y 1.5 takes us to this point. We need to get to H. H is going to be a diagonal move. Diagonal move for it is going to be to get to this point here, we know we're beyond 6 in our X, so that's going to be one line, one block beyond 6, so that's going to be 6 and a quarter in our X axis, and quarter, half, 3 quarter, 1, quarter, half, 3 quarter, 2 and a quarter in our Y axis, or H, and there it is right here, 6 and a quarter in our X, 2 and a quarter in our Y axis. To get to I, that's just going to be traveling in one axis only, and that happens to be in our x-axis from home from this line, oops, from this line here to this line. We know we're here is at four quarter half. X is going to be four and a half for I. Four point five. Have a diagonal move for J. J happens to be this location here, four and a quarter in our X, and quarter half, three quarter, one quarter half, three quarter, one and three quarter in our Y axis. That was J. Four and a quarter in X, one and three quarter in our Y. K is a straight line feed. That's just going to be one axis only. In our x axis, that's here's where the one inch is. Here's where two is. We're not yet two. One block less than two will give you inch and three quarter in your x axis. That was right here, one and three quarter. Position for L. The only axis we're traveling in is our y axis. And so if we count in our y axis, from home, quarter, half, three quarter, one, quarter, half, three quarter, two, and a quarter. Y, 2.25. That was position for L. Now, in order to get back to A, well, hopefully our math works out right. And so here's our position for A up here. X, 0.5, Y, 1.5. To verify that, we count it up again. X axis quarter half x point five y quarter half three quarter one quarter half. So that means one and a half in our y axis. So that would be x point five y one point five, and that took us back to a. The next line of code, since we're through, we're going all the way around the arrow is pick our tool up. So if I give it G00, any positive number, I usually shoot for three. 
it's high enough where I can stick my hand under the tool without cutting myself in order to get the part out of the vise. And it just picks the tool up three inches above the surface. Next line of code, X0, Y0, takes my tool back to my start position or my home position. And M2 or M30 will end our program for us. And that's it for now.